Hey guys, welcome to the Charles Chronicles. Eh, not as catchy as the Terror Chronicles, huh? Yeah. Anyways, so, um, I got done from dropping Terror off. Um, I'm starting the Charles Chronicles. I'm starting my vlogs early. Okay, so, um, that's what that's happening here, but... I like to play games when people are, when people hurt me. Fun little games. Not as fun for the person because I'm a dick and I'm cruel to people that hurt me. But, you know, at the same time, if you don't want me to hurt you, you shouldn't hurt me. So. It's, not the, it's not the worst thing I've done. But, yeah, I'll do nice little provocative things. Making, making people this way. Maybe like my ex hurt because I know that she likes me still. She loves me still. But she still hurt me, so that's what I'm gonna do. That I hurt you like that. Because I'm cruel. And you do that. And you guys, I don't think you guys know how cruel I can be to people that hurt me. So I played this little game because it's fun to play that this little flirtatious game. Because I don't take it seriously. And I won't take it seriously because I can't take her seriously. So basically what happens is I go up to her and um, I'll start flirting kind of very subtly asking her why she's blushing. And then I'll like, like I kept at it. Like, well, I just want to know why you're blushing. And then it just fun because it's irritates her because she likes it and I like to play games so that's just a double duo huh? yeah, I mean, there's something like like this is my mindset right now I would date her again but hey don't go crazy on me guys just listen here I'm gonna explain it I would date her, but I don't think for a second that I would date her, like, singularly. I would do not think I would go steady with her. It would be a very, very long time before I would even consider the idea. Because that's not cool. It's not cool to hurt people that you date when they, when they love you and stuff, so. I don't take her seriously. I don't trust her, so I would date her, but I wouldn't date her steady or anything. Like a side relationship. Not that I would date anyone else study at the same time, but because I'm really not up for that right now, to be honest. Just not. But uh, I think that's all. That's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm running late for my chiropractor's appointment because um, I was waiting there for them and that didn't work out. So I, uh, I said I was going to be there by four and I'm almost there by four. 356 right now. I got four minutes to get down there, and if I would, I feel like I would have been there in on time if it hadn't been for the fact that um, I keep freaking hitting these red lights all the time, and it is just the most grossly annoying thing ever. So I'll get to my chiropractor, and I'll get home. I might run some lines. Probably not. I'll probably end up doing. Um, some video editing stuff until I have to leave at 6.30 for play practice. So yeah, today's a busy day. But um, nothing I can't handle. It's just a, it's just my daily life. <laughs> daily life. You yeah. chiropractor. I see my chiropractor. All right. Say hello. To, am I supposed to say something? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Charles is chiropractor. And he's awesome. And he's awesome. Oh, I'm awesome. You are. You're awesome. Oh. You can say I'm awesome. I don't mind the phrase. Even if it's forced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's great. I keep going. Relax, your breathing just kind of. All right, next people, feel free to fill in some spots here too. Like wherever you got room, go ahead and jump in somewhere. Opposite foot, opposite hand. <laughs> Make your movements better. Good. Next to people. Reminds me of turtles. Put a little 
little faster. Beowulf, uh, or not Beowulf, uh, with some ruffles. Uh, who do we have left? Unfolded rocks, they're there, they're getting away, connected, reach big. Still underwater, but they're getting away. Come on. Come on, everybody. You can make it. <laughs> so, that's the type of rolling motion you want to get used to with this. Turtle! Run, turtle, you're almost to the ocean! Oh, okay. Next one I want to get used to is because you do camera. that same motion, or same type of motion, when you are walking. Now, here's a little... Uh, That was fun. I know. I know. I'm gonna have to get some. You know what was really funny? What? When I came out and screamed in your fucking face. You still have that on? Yes. Turn it on. No. I will not. Play practice is over. That was cool. Uh, but everything went well, so that was fun. Um, I'm gonna probably run some lines tonight. I'm gonna upload. My new video right now because I'd rather have that up than my de last depressing video, so, yeah. And guess what? You're embarrassed or something? Yeah, guess what? Guess what happened? <laughs> oh, okay. So, you know she said she almost wet her pants? She is a liar! <laughs> She's a fucking liar! She did. She pissed herself. She didn't scare the shit out of me. She you pissed scared herself. The out of me. <laughs> you know what? I, it's funny because when I looked at her and I saw, I saw her, like, oh, like, oh! I just thought, oh, I wonder if she pissed herself. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that. I think it's kind of really funny. Special, you're sharing that with the world. You're welcome. You're lucky. I love you. I share everything with everyone, and that's why everyone. That's why people like me because I, I'm very open with them. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So. I, I yeah, guys. I use. Too bad. I'm sure I, John and Jeanette see it. I go by Julie Pipes. Statement that you're only I love secret. Julie Pike. I adore Julie Pike, okay? She's my, she was like my best friend when we were doing this TLC show, um, Hoarders um, Buried Alive. I think that's called. I think it's either Hoarders or Hoarding Buried Alive. And I was, I'm not sure. But. Okay, so what happened was, I was, she was like my best friend on set. Oh my god, she has like the same personality of me. I guess it's just like a psychologist thing. Um, it's just, I get along well with actual psychologists so well. I'm um, better than therapists because therapists aren't psychologists, okay? I'm gonna say that right now. But, and then I, sh I got along with everyone. I get along with good with TV crews and everyone. And it's just, it just I fit in really well with them, which is another reason that I like to be on, on TV cast and everything. Because I fit in so well with everyone. It's just so fun for me. But, um, yeah. So yeah, I was on I was on TLC um, Hoarders Buried Alive, um, like years ago. Um, the show the episode was called "Whoo That Reeks." Um, you guys can look that up. So if you want to see it, she's just laughing over. It. She doesn't want me. To, she doesn't want you to see it. But I don't care. If you, yes, okay. She says she don't care. But anyways, um, I don't care. I want you guys to see it. Uh, you guys can see me from a few years back, and it's nice. Remember, you're only as sick as your secrets. Oh, no. oh well, so I must be. Well, I must be pretty damn sick. Mm, later, guys. Ah. Oh yeah. And hey, this is a message to um all my theater friends because I gave you guys um all my URL and stuff. My Earl, 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 Earl's an old man. Mm. But um yeah, just saying. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I do my daily vlogs, I do my parody videos, um, I record you guys when you're doing funny stuff on stage because it amuses me. <laughs> but yeah, it's all cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I've also got my new mini web series up, uh, William Smoke, so that's going on too. 
So uh, you guys should um, check it out and not immediately watch my um, newest, my sad video that says to me talking about my feelings because literally like 16 minutes of me expressly talking about how I feel and if you're not ready to get to know me that well yet, um, you probably don't want to watch it and, and or if you don't want to be brought down a little bit as a bummer kind of thing, you probably don't want to watch. But um. I'd like to have let everyone get to know me really well and stuff, so, um, yeah, I share that with you, uh, so you can check it out if you feel like it, I don't know, I feel like we're talking about it, but, uh, yeah. You know, guys, I just had a chicken salad, this is about leftovers, and, um, my voice just got really nasally for a second there. What I'm, what's gonna happen now is I'm just gonna shovel it all in my throat, but um, I'm a little self-conscious, so I'm not gonna let you watch that. <laughs> I just thought I'd clue you in on what's happening. This is all, I'm just gonna be like, Yow. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm just gonna be like, Yow, Yow, Yow. just like that. That's exactly what's gonna happen, but yeah. Hey guys, so um, for... I don't know how many years this video has been out, but for so many years I've successfully avoided watching Two Girls, One Cup just because it sounded like the most grossest thing ever. And curiosity got the better of me and I just watched it. I can honestly say it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was really gross. Like, really gross. I can honestly say I've seen worse. Two kids went sandbox is pretty bad too. I think that was worse for me. Ugh. But let me kind of demonstrate my reactions while watching this clip. I was like, what the fuck? Mm. That's fucked up. And that was about it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I don't freak out as much as some people do. But, um, yeah, this is what happens when I try to get, stay on the internet and watch videos until I fall asleep. I watch fucking Two Girls, One Cup. Because I want to know what it's, what's, what it's like. It was just gross. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of glad I finally watched it just because the hype, and I was always curious, like, what's it about, what's it about, and years of wondering, it's not fucking worth it, to me, to me. I mean, it's like a minute long, I'm not gonna have nightmares about it or anything, it's just really gross, so, yeah. Okay, guys, I found something out that is very, very serious, and I hope that you won't judge me for it, but I need to reveal what I found out to you guys. You see this beard? You see that's there? There, there is red hair coming out of my beard. You see it? I, I'm part ginger. I'm part ginger. I'm part ginger. Oh God, oh God. Will you stay with me through this? Well, I gave myself my own parody idea. Um, this will be ap after the parody comes out. But um, if you guys haven't seen it, right fucking here on both sides, see that? I've got red hair growing out here and here. I'm part ginger. None of my family is red. None of my family has black hair. The only weird part about this is that I had a DNA test, we had a DNA test for me like forever ago that confirmed that I was related to them. But I don't, j I don't even look like my family, it's so weird, ugh. And I have red hair in my beard. It's just very, very, very odd and I don't understand any of it. And I'm a part ginger so I know my secret, I don't have a soul.